Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors, and today we're heading to the Gerudo Desert in Enduring Resolve. Now that Ganon has been super powerful and charged up all the way, thanks to our previous efforts of kind of leveling up up a ton, we now have to take down some of his subordinates using the other members of our party. And let's see, 165 seems to be the best damage well, on that sword, so we're probably going to use this rapier. Ganondorf had assembled all three pieces of the Triforce. With its unlimited might, he summoned ever greater hordes of monsters. Seeing that the battle was won, Ganondorf vanished from sight. When Zelda learned of the Demon King's disappearance, she saw a thin ray of hope. If the remaining Hyrulean army could defeat Zant and Girahim in their master's absence, perhaps there was a chance. Taking the fight to the enemy's stronghold in Gerudo Desert, Zelda was determined to end the war before the day was through. So we know why we are here. We have to defeat Ganon, obviously, and by taking out his main base in Gerudo Desert, that is going to be a lot easier to do. This is the second time we've been on this map, but this time we are playing as a hero and not a villain. That's kind of cool. Zelda, same moves as before. We just briefly went over some of them, though, when we were, she was using her in the Valley of Sears. John, it'd be really helpful if you could talk for once in your gosh dang life. <laughs> this battle, not particularly easy. The map is kind of small, so that makes things at least a little bit easier, hopefully, for you. And I do not know why I did that. That was definitely a bad idea. Anyway, we will get this guy uh, down, hopefully, very soon. And use the hexagon attack one more time. And bam, do a large portion of his health. Be careful everyone, the battle is crucial to Hyrule's fate. Hey. And let's see, we can just go behind him and maybe shoot some light arrows and get him with that. And then we'll shoot another set of light arrows and finish everything off. There we go. Nice. So now that uh, Moblin has been defeated, let us try and capture this keep. Now this battle is also pretty tough because we need to not have that happen. Because if Lana or Link, I believe, fail, I don't, I'm not sure on Link, I'm pretty sure if Lana loses, yeah, you are going to have a bad time, and Girahim is doing a lot of damage, oh my gosh. Good thing I have potions, let's just use our Triforce attack, I guess. And there's something up with Girahim, he looks a little different than usual, or is it just my imagination? I'm not too sure. And Big Bo is advancing towards Lana, which is obviously bad. Man, that attack hurts, holy crud. Let's try and use that one again. Maybe we can get that off. Maybe, maybe. Oh, man. We missed. Gosh dang it. And Girahim is now fleeing. Interestingly enough, and he's just running away. Alright, I'll take it. So let's uh, get some HP over near this pot, and everything should be fine. Let's actually capture this gate really quickly. Actually, not gate. <laughs> Key! And maybe this capture the southern oasis. And uh, We need to actually chase after Girahim, though. That could be bad, but I think I can actually capture this keep very quickly, and then we'll work on gear him. Hey, if I use my special attack, that could also be of use. And yes, the key boss will now spawn. Let's take care of him. And I think, honestly, we need to either pursue gear him or help out Lana. It's a hard call, but I feel like gear him is way too far away, so I'm just going to help out Lana for the time being. And, well, if we, we should be okay here. I mean, Lana is really low HP because of the buff, but Really don't want her to have to battle all of these minions at the same time. That'd be kind of bad. So let's quickly try and disperse some of them. Most notably, the hoe and oh gosh, the heat. It's apparently hurting everybody, which is bad, obviously. Okay. You wanna be annoying, Mr. Dude. That's cool. Mm, okay. Let's actually um let's just try and target onto these Deku Babas. Just to so have a little more room. And then we'll just hit the big poe. But unfortunately, we didn't get the hexagon attack all the way. Come on, and gear him. He is still escaping, which is bad. Let's just use that attack. Get rid of the big po. We should be fine. What are you doing? Do you know me? Not fascinating enough for you? Yeah, we really aren't. Perfectly honest. We should be able to make it to him before anything bad happens. So let's just get this keep boss down, and then rush over there as quickly as we can, because we do not want to give him to get away. 
obviously. An oasis, that's exactly what I needed. Ooh. Cool, Lana, cool for you. So, really quickly, once you've done that, just run past uh, all the other minions, I guess, and run into Girahim, who should be inside this keep. Where art thou, Girahim? He'll pretty much wait for you, so don't really worry about it. Let's just shoot our light arrows and totally miss, I guess. <laughs> and finish him off in his weird gray coloring. He looks more normal here, though, so that's good. That guy ain't easy. Where are these guys? Yes, they are not. They are pretty deadly, actually. Oh, no. Let's not get by that attack. And just take Girahim down. Nice. The Arbiter's Keep, though, would be a nice keep to have. And man, look at all those rupees. Holy crap. Let's actually do not forget to pick all the materials. Because you never know. You're going to need to upgrade with all those. And I realized I just picked up a special thing right after I used one. I don't really know why I did that, to be perfectly honest with you. And now Zant has appeared. So really quickly, we need to try and capture this keep as quickly as we can get it. That'd be very beneficial. Let's just use one of our light charge things. And do a lot of damage in this room. Maybe get some full magic. We can do that too. And the gates connecting the desert and oasis have been shut. Which is kind of unfortunate for us. But oh well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. And Lana's morale has fallen a bit. The keep, though, will now become available to us. All we gotta do is defeat the keep boss, which apparently does not want to take any damage today, oddly enough. And now we have to rendezvous with Lana immediately. So. Things are kind of getting a little hectic here. So let's run to Lana ASAP. How do we do that? Well, we're going to have to go the longest way possible, which really sucks. Luckily, we run extremely quickly in this game. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to the cliff uh, keep and jump off that before Zant gets to hit. Be bad. And this segmented gate has closed the stop again. Or uh, Zant's advance. That's good. So now what we gotta do is we got to clear this room out as quickly as we can, get the cliff top keep, so we can actually gain access back to the rest of the map. Luckily, we did a whole lot of damage there. Holy cow! <laughs> and let's just shoot our arrows and whatnot at all the enemies. We take down this, um, partially close off the cliff top, which is the big deal. We're working on that. We take down this, um, gosh, Moblin. Should be pretty easy. Just need to beat him really quickly. Get out of here, boy. Okay. The... Keep boss has appeared, but also the gates will open up. We're just going to quickly take care of the keep boss, because why the heck not? Please. He does not want to get hit by that. What is up with that, man? I think he does get hit by it. It just doesn't do any damage. I don't know why. Really quickly, though, Lana is getting overwhelmed at the Oasis, so we got to go, even though her morale has improved. So here's the thing. You could just fight Zant straight up. I don't recommend you do that. You need to actually go meet with Lana and take down some of those... Oh. We do not think that's how it works, so let's just take down Zant <laughs> and hope for the best, basically. I don't think we'll be that long and... Oh, man. Zant is kind of being a jerk. Let's just try that. No, that Kuko is looking very scary. If you defeat me, I'll allow you to rejoin your friends. Uh, great. So, we cannot get too long... Ooh. Teleported away! Again! Great. No, Kuko, I do not want to hit you. Where does Zant think he is running off like that? Let's finish him off. Oh, gosh. Proxy is... Very mean, very mean. And Zant got a defeat. So let's do that very quickly. And so far, we got 50 units down. I do know where the gold scutula is here, but it's not the easiest one to reach. And I could really use some more light charges. That wouldn't be bad at all. I really hope he is not going to run away again. That would be slightly aggravating. And I really should just use my combo so I can get another charge. And what do you think you're doing, buddy? That ain't going to work for me. <laughs> Just knock him out and these guys are I'm trying, Mr. Goron. I'm trying my hardest. I certainly am. Let's just do maybe some of these. The the Skulltula is right near that rock, by the way, if you're at all curious. Maybe we should bomb that. Once we defeat Gant, that is. Ooh. Gant? G <laughs> Zant. My minimap changed. That is quite annoying. Now my forces are helpless before the power of darkness. Perish in the desert. That ain't gonna happen, bro. And we defeated Zant. So now we get to run directly to Lana. This can't end. Well, I beat you, so the chances are it's going to end. Okay, that unit is in trouble. We need to run to them as quickly as we can and not get distracted. Though this enemy does look rather troublesome. Hmm. Giant Poe, we might actually knock out. We can, we can do that. And then wait for the hexagon and crush him down a little bit. I did not want to run into the uh, little orb things, though. So obviously bad. And run out of it with Lana immediately. I would love to do that game. But the fact remains that these enemies are still in the way. And we do not want them eventually reaching Lana, so taking down these big captains 
is important. It's not really a general move. Anyways, Lana, I'm here for you, baby. Where you at? Try to do an Austin Powers impression. Didn't really work. But that's fine. We're gonna take down these health barred enemies and help out Lana. We're out there. We're out of here. Why? Guess we just can't fight. I maybe should have. Nah, I don't really know about that. What wants to be rendezvous with Lana? We're actually gonna get a very cool cutscene. Yeah. Read my wish! Help everybody! That's right, all the minor characters reappear from their respective timelines and help in the fight against the forces of evil. Actually, a really cool part. I like that a lot. Unfortunately, Agatha is not here because I refuse to save her because she's very, very bad. And all right, I'm saved, thanks. Now we show these monsters where you are a dangerous team. <laughs> cool. Anyways, we got a lot more keeps to capture. And this battle is far from over. Which sucks. So how do we combat that? Well, basically just take down the HP enemies as quickly as you can and get to a thousand units. That would be a good idea. Let's pick up some materials, take down the moblin. He shouldn't be around for much longer. He's just a moblin for crying out loud. You gotta go. Thank you. And don't get me involved again. Nah, I'm kidding. This will be fun. Let's tear them apart. Gosh, <laughs> Midna. Very bloodthirsty, it seems. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe she just hates evil. Who knows? Probably hates Xan a whole heck of a lot, so we gotta make them pay. All right. So let's see. The gates connecting the desert and sacred grounds are now open. So all the gates are open. Good. But more forces are coming. So we're gonna have to interforce. Not interforce. We're not supposed to intercept them and beat them, obviously. We got enemies coming from the north. Finders keepers. Leave them to me. So apparently Mind is going, but... Uh, I'm not too confident in Midna's abilities to take down an entire army. So let's see what our objectives are. We should probably stop that giant wave coming from that area. There's a lot of enemies over there, so I'm going to dash over there. And hope that Lana and friends can take that out. Unfortunately, we may lose that keep. Because, well, it's not that easy to protect. And it's literally in the enemy's base. Obviously. Let's take down this uh, HP bar Moblin. Actually, no, that wasn't a moblin, that was something else entirely. And now let's go for the real moblins with the red butts. Whoa, Nelly, doing a ton of damage. With, unfortunately, they have the full blocking thing. It's really old and annoying. But we got our arrows, so we'll be fine. We have to repel Ganon's forces, and Ganon's forces have opened up the settled gate. So now they're just going like crazy. They're just going hot wild, as uh, someone would say. Probably not me. Taking down another moblin. Unfortunately, that bow didn't reach anywhere too useful. That's fine. Let's just uh, get some charges, I guess. Might as well do it in the midst of battle. You know, you can't just do that at a later time. And gear him and Xan are gone, but the enemies keep getting stronger and stronger. Then probably they're not really gone. You know, Xan and Gear him got weirder earlier. I mean, weirder than usual. Wait a sec, those were fixed. Of course, the real Xan and Gear him are still out there. So now our objective apparently is we gotta go find the rogues and gear him. My guess is they're hanging out in the north. In the grounds. But hey, maybe not, maybe not. So now we gotta hunt them down. But unfortunately, there are tons of minions to dispose of. So we really can't just run there with a million. Go, oh my gosh, this one almost got uh, controlled instantly. No, okay. that got. Oh, no, that got defeated. That's good. I don't know why I'm so negative. We're actually doing pretty well in this battle so far. Now, I decided to do this battle with Zelda, but there are not any heart pieces for Zelda. Like always, at the end of the episode, we will be showing off where the heart pieces and containers are for the characters that the game shows. Well, we are going to be getting that skull tool, which I kind of want to get it in this area, because that'd be super helpful, because we're about 50 units away from it, and it spawns right near here, so I may just mess around and kill some enemies. I mean, killing enemies is always good, but, you know, sometimes you want to angle it in a different location, maybe, and that gives us a lot of enemies. Not, not like an insane amount, but a respectable amount, I'd say. So what, I think I'm going to go and capture this keep to the north. 
gosh, that is a lot of enemies. But then again, we have a lot of friends on our team. So I'm going to capture this keep. I'm going to give myself more charges. Wouldn't hurt. And then we're going to go get the Skulltula and everything will be peachy keen, honestly. It's not a character in a show. And, gosh, it's, the character's name in the show is escaping me. But I always say that. And this search for the find the real give him and all that jazz. I will do that eventually. Do not worry. And okay, Skulltula is up. So let's quickly knock down some of these uh, Bogoblins or Bogoblins, Mogoblins, Sabasins, and go grab that. It should be around for quite some time. Since it's right there, it's not really that difficult to get to. I think I've been... Yeah, I think we've gotten all of them on the first try, actually. So that's good. Fortunately, it does not seem like the key boss wants to come out. Why is that? He's just not appearing for whatever reason. And man, my team is unstoppable. I mean, there are a lot of generals here. And there's only Zan gear him. But still, man, goodness. And honestly, if you did this mission with Link, it'd be kind of lame. Because Link would just destroy everybody so quickly. It's not even it's not even a challenge anymore once you have the Master Sword. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, keep boss down. This keep will be ours now. And I believe this is a heart piece for Lana. I'm going to feel really silly if that is not true. But if you're playing as Zelda or any other character, for that matter, it should just be some roops. So keep that in mind if you're trying to 100% the main storyline. Yeah. Speaking of 100%ing things, the Skulltula should be right over there. Yes, I see him. So as long as this guy does not disappear on me, we should have gotten, we should have gotten everything. So let's grab that. Nice. So now that's been taken care of, what keeps could Girahim and his cohort, Zant, be in? I always thought Girahim was way stronger than Zant. So if you think about it, you fight Zant, not a lot, and when you do, it's not really all that hard, but I don't know. Maybe you guys have a different power level uh, discrepancy <laughs> or something like that. This room has a lot of enemies in it. Rock, did you really just do did you, did you think you could get away with that attack, buddy? I don't think you can, and you won't. So let's shoot our arrows out. We'll do a decent chunk. Once we actually finish off the Poe, we're doing a lot more damage. Anymore. Let's just uh, slice this guy up and... Gosh, I don't want to run into his uh, little orb things, but I also don't want to get hit. I wish I angled that in a different direction, but it's fine. We should get this one on a decent amount of time. I feel like the NPCs have the roughest time against those Poe's. I, feel, I don't know if you guys have even played the game yet, but it feels like they can never beat the Poe's because you know, need to like maneuver around a little bit. I should have done the hexagon attack a little bit sooner. We probably would have got the uh, full effect of it. Just get all that. We just do some of these slow attacks in. And then dash around it this time. And defeat Girahim! And that's immediately! I'm working on it, man! Holy crud! So we gotta search all of these keeps and stuff. Actually, no, do we? No, I think they're right there. They should be. No, no, it doesn't show that. It only shows major generals, so... That's unfortunate. Do not know why I use special... Oh, you know, I planned that. I planned that and totally did not look behind me. And they were special or anything. But okay. So let's think. Um, Are there... No, it's not them. Where on earth could they be? You know, I'm just going to go around uh, capturing keeps. And if my other army needs me, we'll be fine. Because I can just go there immediately. As long as I don't get locked in in any of these gas dang places, we should be okay. So let's see. Uh, let's capture the Arbiter's Keep yet again. Do this really awesome attack, followed by some light arrows. Yeah. Probably isn't the best uh, use of those meters, but it looked really cool and it felt right at the time. And enemy troops have forced the Garen, the Garen, <laughs> the Garon captains to flee. That's okay though; they're we're just defeating phantoms. I mean, as long as we can hold those bases. Oh gosh, there is no Link, Link's at our home base though. We'll be okay, I think. So let's just try and capture this keep so we have a little bit of uh, reinforcements. If things get a little bit too hairy, let's just finish it off with a Triforce attack of wisdom and awesomeness. So this keep is now ours. Now let's think, I'm pretty sure that they're up here. They could not be, and I'd be very upset over that. But I guess we'll find out. Let's charge our light arrow things. Light charges, I guess. I don't really know the correct term for that. And then capture this keep. They could be here. They could not be. I'm not too sure how that works as of late. And yes, they are. So here's my strategy for this. Let Zelda go crazy. Because the <laughs> results of that are pretty darn good. Okay. So we could let Girahim and his uh, cohort do all their nonsense. But personally, I'm just going to knock him out so quick. I'm not even going to know what to do. No oh, gosh. I don't think we've even seen hers yet. So cool looking. Okay. Might be able to get the... Yes, we did. So Gearham, uh getting bursted down really quickly 
This battle is only really difficult if you have to fight them both at the same time, and if you can knock one out really quickly, that's good. I mean, you don't gotta deal with them anymore, I mean, that should be obvious. No, no, he's gonna try and do his sword attacks, you know, gear him thing, he's kinda, kinda like swords a little bit, but it does not matter. Since we're gonna get a level up and then move on to Zant, and yeah, that's pretty much how the battle works. If you just help out Lana and don't get too distracted and find your way through the cliff top uh, thing and kill the gatekeeper, you should be okay. And what is this nonsense? If I'm gonna fall off this and then I can hit him. Or maybe not, who knows. I can just do the very easy to do attacks. I'll just wait for him to mess up. So far, uh, yeah, the forces of evil, it seems like Ganon was pretty much your entire army, which. Usually, you don't want a one-man army, because if you have a one-man army and he gets knocked out, you don't got an army anymore. Yeah. But oh well. <laughs> that should be pretty obvious to any strategist. It's just, uh... Oh, gosh, we actually didn't get that off. It's just knock him out. He should not have much power left. Seriously, he's like two attacks down. And what? You? How could you possibly conjure victory from nothing? Because we got... Because we got good men. Now, at the end of the day, that's pretty much all you need. Garahim and Zant have been defeated, thanks to the help of Lana and her magical book and all the people and all the generals that helped us along the way. And we defeated an army of monsters. Hooray! Hyrule stands tall. That's right. We have defeated Ganon's forces in Garuda Valley, which was basically the heart of his assault. Now it's been taken care of, there's only one thing left to do. Take down the source of Ganon's evil, which is obviously Ganon! and this Triforce of Power. And man, Zelda's victory screen looks really cool. <laughs> it's got a nice big smile. I'd be happy too, man, if I just conducted a big attack like this and took everybody down. And man, that is a ton of rupees. We got some God of Swords and Glittering Rapiers and even a Deku Spear. And some nice equips. Did we? Oh, we got Gearham Sash. Not bad, not bad, I think. Yeah, you're supposed to get it on the first try. Anyways, only three pieces of this Enduring Resolve. No, that's not what it's called. Picture, wallpaper thing, left to go. But there's not that many levels left. Isn't that a little weird? Yes, it is. But before we go, we actually need to get the heart piece and heart container for the Lana and Link in that past level. To get the heart piece for Lana, all you have to do is capture the central keep right here. Any treasure chest containing it will appear. After that, bomb this boulder near the southern part of the map, near Cliff Top Keep, to get a treasure chest to appear that has Link's heart piece in it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Hyrule Warriors. In the next part, we end this amazing game. So see you guys then. Bye.